Hello, my sweet bumblebees. I'm Gigi Ma Mel. And this is Living a Gigi Ma Style. And look what I got. I got a box. A big box. I have a new baby, guys. And this one is a special kind of baby. So, let me get it out of the box. And I'll show you what's new in Gigi's nursery. Look what I got. This is called, it's a Belinda Lovely Baby. And it is interactive. Now, I'm going to get her out of the box. And I'll show you what I mean, okay? Um, this might take me a minute or two, but... I'll be right back. Oops. Okay, my bees. I finally got her out of the box. And she looks amazing. And I took me literally forever to get her batteries in. What I meant by being interactive is, let me see if I can do, no, nope, come back, oh, I made her mad, I did, I made her mad, look at that, she is just upset, hang on, sweetheart, hang on, all right, lay back. Here, let me lay her back. I'm having a hard time doing this with one hand. Okay, there you go. There you go. Check out the movement of her face. Isn't that just the coolest thing? Now, this dolly... Uh, oh, she went to sleep. See? Awesome. Now, this doll... I've had one of these dolls in the past, okay, and, um, but it wasn't anywhere near this big. This baby doll is probably, honestly, twice the size of the doll that I had before. And I had planned on putting her, this baby on a new body. Um, I have a Ashton Drake body that I was going to put it on. But honestly, the body on this is not bad. Um, it is one quarter limbed and one quarter, you know, on the feet. But it's got pretty decent detail. Let me show you what I, you know, pretty decent detail. It is of a, a harder plastic and I had thought about reborning it just a little bit, but with this plastic I, or the harder vinyl, I don't know how easy that will be. And because the face moves, I might not be able to um, reborn the face too well or root it because it is a solid head um, with the mechanisms and all of that in it. So... I might change the color of the lips a little bit, you know, do a little bit here and there, but nothing real fancy. Um, what I want to know from you guys is, should I leave it a little girl? It, it is a baldy. Um, if I were to put hair on it, I would have to do a wig because, or paint it because, um... I might do a little painting on it, but um, this is a silicone head, so I don't know if I can, it's um, so that it can move, or it's a real soft vinyl, so I will have to figure out how to put some hair on her, or him. What I want to know from you guys is, do I leave it a girl, or make it a boy? Now, I have names picked out, so... What I want you to do is if you think it should be a boy, you put the boy's name in the um, comments below. And if you think it should stay a girl, put the girl's name in the comments below. 
Okay, so for a girl, the name will be Lily Ann. For a boy, it'll be Micah Joe. So let me know below whether you should think the newest member of my um, nursery should be a boy or a girl. I love the, you know, um, I will be remo will be modifying the little bottle that came with it. I'll probably cut the nipple here off and try to put it on a regular um, bottle or figure out another way to have a different kind of bottle. It came with this little bottle, the outfit that she is wearing or it is wearing. And a, whoops, I'm dropping things on the floor. And a little um, food dish that looks kind of funky in my opinion. <laughs> so it didn't come with a lot, but I have some pretty big plans for this little one. I'm thinking I might buy a wig. Um, let me know. What I'll do, um, I don't. I have to find the pictures of the one I had before. But then I will show you a comparison of the one I had before with this one. So, everybody, welcome the newest member to my family. Let me know whether it, it should be Lillian or Michael, Micah Joe. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Be happy. Be safe. Be sensible and do your very, very best to behave. Bye-bye, guys.